Tar Heel fans everywhere are paying tribute today to a legend in the basketball world. Dean Smith died at his house Saturday at the age of 83. News 13's Hope Hanselman is joining us with a look at his 36-year career. Good and morning, Hope. Good morning to you guys. A legendary career that was turning out such basketball superstars as Michael Jordan and leading the Tar Heels to two national championships and the then record number of game wins. 36 years coaching at North Carolina brought 11 trips to the Final Four and the innovation of the Four Corners defense. He's also being recognized for his incredible successes both on and off the court. An astounding 97% of Smith's lettermen received a degree. He's been called the greatest teacher of basketball by some as others attribute their incredible success to his talents. He took me through the basics, you know, just studying hard and understanding more about people, being respectful, uh, being appreciative of the things that were giving to me. And you know, from that day on, I've kind of carried that along. Smith was such a proponent, proponent of teamwork on the court. It's been said he's the only coach who had been able to hold Jordan to under 20 points a game. That teamwork was celebrated throughout the Tar Heel State this weekend. And right here in Asheville, fans are paying tribute. UNCA basketball teammates say they looked up to the coaching great. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll check in with our local players for their reaction. A tearful goodbye was shared by basketball fans across the country as UNC coaching great Dean Smith passed away this past weekend. Smith died at his home Saturday evening at 83 years old. News 13's Hope Hanselman joins us with how some of his career highs have influenced local athletes. Hope? Yeah, Holly, Ingrid mentioned it earlier. You didn't need to go much farther than Carrier Park in Asheville to see what kind of impact Coach Smith's passing had on athletes in the mountains. The courts there were filled Sunday afternoon with pickup games, honoring the coaching career that led the Tar Heels to a then record 879 game wins before his retirement. And at UNCA, too, players remembered his innovative techniques and emphasis on teamwork as they hold out hope for success one day like his. Smith brought two national championships to North Carolina and turned out such memorable players as Michael Jordan. Here at home, the Bulldogs head coach Nick McDevitt says Smith was a national treasure. We all got to share Carolina basketball and Dean Smith stories, and so he, he certainly had a way of bringing his Carolina family together, but uh, he touched a whole lot more families across this state and country as well. At the end of his 36-year career, Smith was praised for his character and class, a role model for others who raised dozens of players to eventually join the NBA. And in honor of Smith's legacy, Governor Pat McCrory has ordered all North Carolina flags at state facilities to be lowered to half staff on Wednesday. Tar Heel fans are remembering legendary coach Dean Smith's 36-year career that brought UNC basketball national championships. Smith died Saturday at his home after health complications. News 13's Hope Hanselman joins us live this morning. Hope, Smith was behind some big names in basketball. Yeah, that's right, Jay. He coached Michael Jordan and James Worthy, among dozens of other players who made it to the NBA. According to ESPN reports, Dean Smith's family says he was suffering from health issues for the past few years. He had a condition that caused him to lose memory, and he was keeping a low profile at 83 years old. But his career will, will remain in the minds of basketball fans everywhere as one that brought incredible success to the Tar Heel name and to the sport itself. Michael Jordan once said next to his parents, no one had a greater influence on his life than Smith. He took me through the basics, you know, just studying hard and understanding more about people, being respectful, uh, being appreciative of the things that were giving to me. And, you know, from that day on, I've kind of carried that along. After Smith's retirement, he was credited with two national championship titles, more than 870 game wins, and an induction in the Basketball Hall of Fame. On Sunday, President Barack Obama honored the character and class Smith was known for, issuing a statement that said Smith showed us something he's seen again and again on the court, that basketball can tell us a whole lot more about you, about who you are, than a jump shot alone ever could. Flags will be flying at half staff at North Carolina State Buildings today. They are honoring the life of a beloved Tar Heel coach. Basketball coaching legend Dean Smith died at his home Saturday night at 83 years old. News 13's Hope Hanselman joins us with more and Hope. Smith was a huge influence on the sport. That's right. Over a decades-long career, Coach Dean Smith was credited with starting the Four Corners offense, huddles at the foul line, and he took the Tar Heels to an incredible 11 Final Fours. 
Courts were full and parks around Asheville Sunday where pickup games honored the coach who during his career held the record for the most number of wins of any college basketball coach in history. Smith has also been recognized as an advocate for the civil rights movement. He recruited the first black scholarship athlete to North Carolina. And his lessons taught on and off the court have inspired athletes in the mountains as they chase a similar success. We all got to share Carolina basketball and Dean Smith stories and so he, he certainly had a way of bringing his Carolina family together, but uh, he touched a whole lot more families across this state and country as well. Bulldogs head coach Nick McDevitt said he grew up talking about Smith with his family at practice Sunday. Many of his players paid tribute to a man who made Carolina basketball known around the country. Again, Governor Pat McCrory has ordered state buildings to lower their flags to half staff today through Wednesday in Smith's honor with a statement he issued saying, May the skies shine Carolina blue in your honor, coach.